Yes, yes, yes. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is T-Man and it is Tuesday, so it's T-Man's tips, tricks and tutorials. So if you're new to the channel, on a Tuesday, um, I kind of just go in the studio and I try and organise things. I want to organise it because I quite often sit there and I want to produce a track. Everything's too messy. I can't think and I need to declutter it all in my head. So a good place to start is on your pc or your mac so this is on pc windows and it is with ableton so what i'm doing is i'm just kind of organizing all my sample packs stems and stuff i haven't done all of it yet but i've made a start on it so let's get it up and have a look so right so as you see here sorry it's my squeaky chair as you see here we've got um all i've created one folder called music production or just production and I've kind of just broken down all the different parts and stems of a track so I've got vocals and then I've got my drum parts so I've got um well I've got drum loops drum patterns with MIDI as well uh, iconic break beats and this is all going to be based around my live template and my production template that I'm sorting out as you see I got the kick snare tops hi hats as well and then going all the way through to the bass and then to the chords and then effects and atmosphere and um, just all the typical parts to make it up i mainly started basing this one on a drum and bass i've only added a couple of packs at the moment but when i get more or i create my own sounds which i often do or even if i um get presets for example i've got a few that i make and a few that i've got so like vital you've got some homemade ones you've got um stranger ones as well the same with massive I've got a wobble one i made that one's a doom one it's got liquid dmb so i'm just trying to keep it all organized able in projects as well so all you do is right click create new folder name it production like that and then within the folder um you go through and have them all set up first the way i did it was i created a folder for the first one which was a kick and then i went through a sample pack so for example i'll show you if i go into this dmb one and then i went through there you could literally just then copy out all the kicks it's got a name at the start so that's quite an important one you want it to have the name of the sample pack at the starts or the ones that you've made so then if you can navigate to it pretty quickly and then what do is go on to ableton right click add folder then i added the production folder there this is quite simple really so if you already know this then i wouldn't bother watching the video but it might help if someone's new or the fact that um you might think, oh, you've been lazy for years like me and it's all over your PC and you've never sat down. And the reason I sit down and do it is because it's literally like your brain just gets too cluttered and you're trying to make a track and you don't know where to start and it just goes all over the place and it's hard to get going. So this way I've done it like this and I've organized it. This is my live template that I use for when I'm recording on OBS, DJ sets and live jams. So I'll upload another video in a bit about that. I'll probably do two today. And then all it is, is then the folders come up here. So if I want to navigate to an Ableton project quickly, I can click on there and then I can go into different parts and load it in. Um, same with bass. So I've got three that I use here, Massive, Vital and the Miami one, which I prefer. So I'm trying to keep it simple and then I can load in a preset if I want or a preset that I've made. And then, for example, if I want to do a drum loop, let's uh, drop one in here. So 
So it's easily done, easy to drop in. So I've got the bass, drums, bass, atmosphere, mixer in, mics, blah, 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 blah. I'll go on to that one in a bit, but this one's just to show you how to keep it all organized. You also, if you use iPad, you can have a core gadget one uh, linked up. Uh, this one is linked up with Dropbox. I don't know if it's working at the moment because I haven't used it in a long time, but that's just another way to add it in. So yeah, just go f go through your um, things. So if you, if you wanted, you could have, say, um, just drums on the side and then click in there and have it all organized just for drums. So I, could, I might do that further along down the line. But at the moment, I'm happy with this. And then you could have your bass. Then you could have your pads or stabs, melody sort of thing, effects and vocals. So let's give another example. So if I want to go impact, just drop that one. Oh shit, one sec. Oh no, what have I done? Drop that back in there. Right, so there's the impact. If I want to drop that there. There you go, easy done. So then you could. So I'll I'll go through this one. This is what um Stranger done on his channel. So I just use that for a live template. So when I go into further into my dem template, I'll show you. That's pretty much it, really. There's nothing too special or hard about it. If you're just being a bit lazy or. You, um, you can't start a track then I've got that sorted and then I'm mainly going to use that for if I navigate to anything so if I want to do my live jam or if I want to do any jingles or samples over top of my DJ set I can easily just do it I'm going to have a separate template for producing tracks and um, like I wasn't overly happy with the last one I've done but this one I feel like I'm going to get more creative and it's going to be a lot a lot easier to navigate and that's same thing with music isn't it you're just trying to keep things simple and get your expression out there straight away so that's pretty much it really so thank you for tuning in my name is t-man and hopefully this has helped someone if not and you just you already know how to do it then pull your finger out and start organizing it and that's what i've done so thank you for tuning in and i'll see you later